Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in uh, ethical hacking, that is uh, phases of ethical hacking. So phases of hacking or ethical hacking. So totally the six phases are there. The hacker have to follow all the six phases. The first one is reconnaissance. Usually we call it as a recon stage. Scanning. Scanning phase. Gaining access. And maintaining the access clearing tracks so usually these are the five phases involved in the hacking and one more stage comes with the ethical hacking that is reports reports so phases that means the hacker should follow all the phases right so five phases for a hacking and total six phases for ethical hacking so the first five phases are for hacking the normal hacking and complete six phases are for ethical hacking ethical hacking Right? So, reconnaissance or we can simply call it as a recon, scanning, gaining the access, maintaining the access, clearing tracks and finally reports. Right. So, first let us see about the hacking and then we will see the ethical hacking. So, finally we will see this report. First let us move on with the hacking. So, first, what is the first phase? That is the recon phase. The first phase of hacking or ethical hacking is recon phase so this recon phase so as as usual this is a first phase of hacking and this is also called as also known as footprinting footprinting or information gathering phase information gathering so here the name itself indicates in this phase the hacker will gather the o information as much as possible of a target system right so the hacker gathers the information information as much as possible as much as possible so every minute information is also being recorded in this phase right and mainly the hacker gathers three group the information regarding three groups the first one the people who are who are involved in the organization so people involved host so on which system we need to attack the host and finally network network regarding the uh, routers firewalls etc etc configuration network configuration right so the information regarding all these things will be gathered by the hacker in this particular reconnaissance phase that means the information gathering phase and this is also called as a footprinting and this is again classified as the two categories that is an active footprint and a, a passive footprint so right here see active footprint usually the footprinting means information gathering 
so active footprint means the hacker directly interacts with the target system with the target and gathers the information so in order to gather the information the hacker will directly contact or interact with the target so that type of gathering information we call it as a active footprinting and the next one passive footprinting passive footprinting so in this passive footprinting hacker will indirectly interact indirectly interact with the target so actually in order to gather the information there are a lot of automated tools right so by using those tools the hacker will gather the information of a target system right mainly the three groups people host and the network so that is the first phase of a hacking or ethical hacking whatever it may be so coming to the after gathering the information so the second phase is a scanning second phase comes with a scanning so whatever the information gathered in the first phase by using that information the hacker will start scanning for the vulnerabilities right the second phase is a scanning so obviously this is a second phase second phase and whatever the information gathered in the first phase so the hacker will take that as an input and the hacker will uh, start finding the vulnerabilities start scanning the vulnerabilities right so here the attacker or a hacker starts scanning vulnerabilities vulnerabilities or a weakness weakness of a system or a network or a machine whatever it may be right so with the help of with the help of information gathered in phase 1 in the first phase so whatever the information gathered in the first phase that will be with the help of that information attacker will start scanning the vulnerabilities that means finding the vulnerabilities and here mainly there are three types of scannings done right so first one is port scanning so here the attacker scan the target system the target for available ports available available ports right so whatever the ports which are available in a free so those ports so it will find the ports because through the ports the attacker will exploit the payloads right next vulnerability scanning vulnerability scanning so here the attacker scan the target to find the weakness so wherever the weakness is available so the attacker will make use of those vulnerabilities to enter into the system right then the next one network scanning and this network scanning here the attacker scan the target to find the information regarding to find 
the network firewalls okay etc regarding the network information so regarding the network information the attacker will scan the target that is a network scanning so here in the scanning phase there are three types of scanning support vulnerability and the network so after this phase the attacker will be having the information gathered from the first phase as well as what are the available ports what are the vulnerabilities weakness and what are the firewalls configured in the uh, firewalls or any other security systems configured in the target so everything is now available with the attacker then coming to the third phase gaining the access so here the actual work will be done so once the information is available now the hacker, hacker will start gaining the access of a target right so that's why the third phase is gaining access so here the attacker makes use of information gathered from phase 1 and 2 phase 1 and 2 to gain access of a target system, of a target so now in order to gain the access of a target the hacker will make use of the information gathered in phase 1 and phase 2 So here the actual attacks will be done. So once the vulnerability is found, automatically the payload will be sent and automatically the control will be taken by the attack. So here the attacks will be done. Attacks will be performed. Perform. And here the attacks can be the phishing attacks, the phishing attacks. Denial of service attacks, okay, web attacks, website attacks, etc. etc. Whatever the attacks may be, so that will be performed, and the hacker or an attacker will gain the access of a target. So that is done here. Now, once the attacker gains the access of a target, is the work completed? Obviously, there is no because so the attacker have to maintain that access for further exploitations for i mean for sending more number of attacks or uh, you know uh, until the attacker completes all uh, the activities right so the next phase is maintaining the attacks so how long he or she have to maintain the access of a target in order to perform the attacks right maintain access so once the attacker gains the control automatically how long the control will be safe that means how long attacker gains the access gain access for future exploitation future exploitation so more number of attacks can be applied on that particular machine right so how long sorry the attacker or a hacker hacker or attacker hacker maintains access until completes his or her activities so whatever the activities the attacker want to do 
so the hacker should maintain the access of a target until completes his or her activities so for that purpose the attacker will create some backdoor so once a backdoor was created so whenever it is required the hacker gains the access through the backdoor right so that's the maintaining the access and finally the last one clearing tracks is a very important clearing tracks that means vanishing all the evidences so how the attacker gains the access so the attacker should remove all the complete evidences so that anyone should not be detected right the hacker should not be get detected so here attacker clears all his activities all his or her activities not to be get detected right so what how the attacker will clear so here attacker clears logs logs which are maintained and similarly applications if the applications if any applications are installed those applications will be removed and if any data is inserted that data will be removed right etc so whatever the activity is done by the attacker all the things will be cleared okay so that will be deleted right cleared means deleted so that no one can find how the attacker enters into the system right so for that purpose the last one is clearing tracks so this is the last phase of hacking this is the last phase of hacking so first one the recon phase scanning gaining access maintaining and the clearing tracks and the last phase comes for the ethical hacker right so this is the five phases of hacking and the last phase will be only for ethical hackers the last phase is only for the ethical hacker so what is the last phase reports reports so this is only for ethical hacking ethical hacking so what will be done here so ethical hacker we have discussed in the earlier sessions like uh, ethical hacker means the person who will be recruited by the organization to Uh, find the vulnerabilities of a software or a system or a network that means gaining the unauthorized access with the permission of an organizational head so so once the complete work is done okay the ethical hacker will also follow the same tools which the hacker follows right and the ethical hacker will follow the same uh, path and the same way how the hacker gain the access right so finally the ethical hacker if it is a ethical hacking the ethical hacker should give the complete report how the process has been done to the organizational head so that the organization will find out the vulnerabilities and they will prevent the i mean they will de uh, develop some patches to overcome these vulnerabilities right so report with a complete process complete process need to be submitted so here the complete process means how the vulnerabilities uh, i mean what are the vulnerabilities what are the weakness what are the ports which are not being used and uh, what are the exploits uh, attacker used what are the payloads used how what are what are the different types of attacks the uh, hacker Uh, uses and how the hacker gained the access so how the hacker uh, created the backdoor so everything everything so what are the tools they have used to gather the information so everything everything should be recorded and the complete report will be submitted to the organization so that will be the last phase of ethical hacking right so this is the last phase which will be used only for the ethical hacking so five phases for hacking and six phases for ethical hacking right so hope you understood this one
uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much